Oh, hey, how's it going? This is Webby, not Eddie. And today I am at the Dearborn Racket and Health Club in Dearborn, Michigan. And I'm here for a 4.0 plus co-ed doubles tournament. Oh yeah. So what that means is the teams could consist of two females, it could consist of two males, it could consist of a mixed doubles team. And today my team will be a mixed doubles team. And this is gonna be an interesting one because there's a lot of very tough teams. Uh, like I said, it's 4.0 plus. I am just barely 4.0, and I know there's a number of people on the other teams that are definitely above 4.0, so should be a good challenge, should be fun. Let's go inside and find my partner and get ready. Come on. Hey folks, this is John Sheets coming live from the Gearborn Racket and Health Club. We got an 18 tournament today. Uh, it's a double elimination pickleball tournament. We look forward to seeing some good fair play and uh, just everybody having some fun. Wish everybody a happy holidays. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with my partner for today, Janelle. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Good, some of you remember Janelle and I played together in the summer at the Hawk tournament. And uh, here we are again. Round two. Yep. And this one's gonna be tough though, because like I said before, this is a 4.0 plus doubles tournament. Yes. And it's co-ed, yes. so we might be playing against two men that are 4.5, maybe even 5.0, some mixed teams that are the same way, maybe some women's doubles. I'm not sure if there's any women's doubles teams, but it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited, I'm excited. Nice, let's do it. All right, it's almost time to get things started. The teams are all warming up. Janelle and I warmed up a bit, and there are eight teams total. There's five men's doubles teams and three mixed teams, including myself and Janelle. So this should be a lot of fun, a big challenge, and just to clarify, this isn't a big sanctioned tournament or anything. This is just a nice, fun, local tournament. But it's going to be a very competitive one. Like I said before, 4.0 plus, And a lot of the players are well above 4.0. So very big challenge for us. In fact, I would say Janelle and I might be the underdogs of this tournament. But who doesn't love a good underdog story? So let's do this. All right, so right here practicing behind me is Joe and Emily. I just found out that they are the reigning champions from last year's tournament. Last year, from what I understand, it was a 3.5 tournament, so they upped it this year to 4.0 plus. So they're here to defend their championship, and Janelle and I are actually playing them first in the first game, so we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. First game of the tournament, let's do it. First game is done. It was a good back and forth one. We had the lead at first, then they took the lead. We went back and forth a bit. Final score was 11 to six. Unfortunately, they won the first one, but this is best two out of three, so we still got a chance. So let's see what happens in this next one.
Second game is done. That was even closer than the first one. That was tough. That was a very evenly matched first game of the tournament. But uh, how'd that one turn out? That was rough. <laughs> it was rough. But we, you know, I, I think we were in it, you know, but it's against the reigning champions. That's right. Right? I yep. mean, Joe and Emily, they're a tough, you know, tough team to beat. Yep. So we did lose that one. Final score was 11 to 7. So we got one more point than the previous game, but they definitely outplayed us overall. Uh, nice and close, though. I mean, yeah, we definitely fun. felt, definitely felt like we were in it the whole time. So we had a yes. chance. We definitely had a chance to win that. Um, but like Janelle said, they're the reigning champions. They were expected to win, but now we're going to the losers bracket. Some like to call it the opportunity bracket. We still have a chance to work our way back yeah, up. We're gonna crawl our way out of that. That's right. I think we can do it. I, I'm I'm confident. All right, let's do it. All right. See you in the next game. All right, here we go. This is the first game of the opportunity bracket. It is do or die time for us. We must win this to continue on in the tournament. Luckily, it is best two out of three, so we're gonna play at least two games, but we really need a win here, and we're gonna be playing against a very solid team, Brian and Eddie, and Eddie is actually a very longtime friend of ours. You may remember him, he's teamed up with me in the past. He and I actually won a gold medal back when I was doing 3.0 tournaments, so this should be interesting. Eddie versus Webby, let's do it.
<laughs> Alright, first game of that match is done. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it, we got our butts kicked. <laughs> the final score was 11 to 1. So, I think I know some adjustments we need to make. We'll do those and hopefully win the next two in a row. So, let's see how it goes. Second game just ended. It was much better than the first game. Yes, yes. We played much better against them. In fact, we had the lead at the beginning. We had like probably at least eight rallies back and forth where nobody scored a point. So it took a long time for somebody to get a point. We scored the first point, then they got a couple, then we took the lead. It went back and forth for a bit, but unfortunately in the end they beat us 11 to four. That score doesn't sound good, but I'm telling you, we put up a real good fight in that game and it went back and forth. They had to it fight hard for that win. So it was fun. yeah, they they outplayed us. Uh, I made some unforced errors that cost us at crucial moments, but but I mean, yeah, I felt like we were in a, a good position to possibly win that one. So yeah, I thought we played very well. I knew going into this, this was going to be a very tough tournament. 
I uh, mainly went into this just to get some good high level competitive experience, so I'm real happy with that. Um, it would have been cool to get some wins, but to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get more than one at the most. So. <laughs> I'm happy how we played. I think we yeah. did a nice job. We had fun. Great Absolutely. group. Absolutely. Yeah, very good group, very fun little local tournament. And to be honest, sometimes I like the, the smaller local tournaments better. I mean, not a lot of pressure. Way more chill, mm -hmm. a lot of fun. Absolutely. During 2023, I think Janelle and I are definitely going to team up for some more mixed doubles tournament. I think this is a great experience. I feel like we get better together every time I we like play. It. So. I agree. But that's going to do it for us here today. And on that note, I'm Janelle. And I'm Webby, not Eddie. Signing off. Pickleball addicting and fun, that's no joke. Pickleball and it's not just for old folks. Pickleball. Pickleball.